Hey, welcome back to my Rogue Tech series, uh, Cold Forged. So today we're going to undergo, undergo another mission. going to have a quick look in the barracks before we go. We just shifted planets to New, new Kyoto. Last uh, episode, we did end up with a um, failed mission. Uh, we had a, an oxide that was uh, super fast and bailed out before we could actually kill him. It was an assassinate mission. So yeah, that was a bit of a pain. Um, Receiving you. Let's get some health here on Glitch. I think she's going to... Actually, you know what? We're going to dismiss her right now. We're running really heavy on cash. We have to be careful with our money here. So we've almost got enough to get uh, the next level of gunnery. And Pylon... have enough for tactics, but they don't really want tactics on you. Yet, we're going to save up for gunnery, I think. Um, although you are our scout... But right now, we're just going to leave that. So what I might do is advance forward like three days here. There we go. And we're going to go back to the barracks. And we will get our gunnery skill raised up yeah. on Hickory. We can do that. Oh, I only need one day. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. We'll get our gunner, gunnery skill raised up. It's not very much, but uh, everything helps. Um, she had some problems last time firing our lasers off against the vehicle all we needed was one hit and out of 14 we could not hit the location where we wanted to so definitely raising the gunnery up okay so let's look at the command center and I think what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do another escaping spy mission I gotta redeem myself for the last one where I uh, failed to uh, actually get the spy so this time we will um, at least we'll try my hardest to get the spy I mean I think out of all these uh, half skull missions that's probably the best one to start with so let's negotiate this and because we're only we're just about the halfway point of the month we're going to go for full salvage again uh, i think you know we're short on finances but i think if we get some good salvage we'll be able to make up for that without a problem so let's accept this and we're going to go with the standard lance again and deploy and get this done command interface initiated all right here we go Oh, so it looks like uh, they've got uh, two lances of guys. Great. Two lances and the main leader. So, we got to kill these guys fast. Um, so, let's get in close. See what we're up against here. Now, I wonder if I want to pull these guys back to the water. That might be an idea. So they're reserving. We need to be very, very careful. Let's move. We do need to engage these guys quickly. So the last time we were able to... Uh, yeah. Thank you, Captain Obvious. So last time we upgraded the medium lasers in the Phoenix Hawk... Um, but we were having heat problems last time, but I don't think we will this time because we're in the water. And this guy is probably going to be a medium or a heavy. I hope he's not a heavy. Although I've, I have encountered half, uh, heavy mechs at half skull mission, so would not put it by them. Hopefully these guys are lightly armored or in shoddy condition. There's the big boy moving in the back there. All right, plus seven resolve. Let's reserve. Waiting These guys the right are both light mechs. Let's let them make contact first. We've got some good chevrons of evasion, so I'm not too worried. Here comes their their second lance. Now these guys are probably all light. And it's unclear how many mechs they have here right now. There's a wasp. Okay. Thank you for firing, I appreciate that. Pulse laser. More, the more you want to fire the better. So there's at least three guys in the front lance. I don't know what that is. Probably an Irby. We better find out sooner than later. I don't want to get hit with an AC-20. Commander 1C, not a big deal. 
Unless he, you know, is continuously hitting when someone's got six chevrons of invasion. I'm showing minor damage. Yeah, but you got six chevrons of invasion and he hit you, buddy. Okay, so... Who do we kill first? Probably the commando. Let's fire everything on him. We're running really, really heat low, so... Nice. As E.T. would say, ouch. Someone with an ultra auto cannon. You know what that is? That's a blackjack. Good to go. That's what that is. Uh, I want to get you on the wasp. So let's move over here. I copy. That's that chevron. These guys have to die fast, so... Locking in all so do they, they do have reduced armor? Is he unstable? Is he unstable? Critical hit. No? Okay. Standing by. Okay, Behemoth, I want you to sprint because I want to hit this guy in the side. Copy that. Thank you. I want to hit this guy here in the side. Good chances to hit. No, come on, torso, torso. There we go. Bang, you're dead. What do you need? I need you to get up here and kill this wasp for me, please. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, everything on this guy. Let her rip. Nice. Bang, you're dead too. Target destroyed. Okay. Then there were seven. We are going to reserve. We're okay for evasion. Not liking the fact that we're sitting in the water, but we're going to force this guy to come forward. Is this guy moving? I want to know. Here, yeah, it was an Irving Mac RX 60, so he's got an AC 10. These guys are coming up fast. They gotta be light mechs. Yeah, that guy's probably. That guy has to be a light mech too, then. Okay. They've got one medium. It's probably this guy here. And I think that's the blackjack. So we need to kill this guy. RX 60. He's got the AC 10 on him. He's got no armor. So let's start off with a good punch to the face. Hmm. Really hard to hit this guy. What if we sprint up here? Is that any better? Still the same. Um, let's just go here. We're losing on evasion, but better chance to hit with the missiles. Okay, there's a start. Yeah, that's that's a, definitely a blackjack with the AC2s. Okay. Ready for orders. Can we get on this guy's side? It's a chance to hit. 69, that's pretty good. These missiles have really good chances to hit. So let's fire. Okay, we hit with one. Structure exposed. Was that an arm hit though? That's the question. Torso hit, good enough. Uh, let's get Hickory next. See if we can blow that torso off. We'll be able to at least see what that other guy is too. Let's move in here. Got another chevron. We gotta kill these guys fast. Let's fire these on him. Torso hit. Or arm hit probably with a machine gun critical. What do we got here? That looks like another... Uh, oh, it's a fire starter. Okay. Another torso hit. Opposite torso. Okay, pylon. Let's move forward. Once again, on this guy, hopefully we get the other torso. Locked on. Oh, spread it around, my friend, spread it around. Okay, so, yeah. let's get you sprinting. It's a chance to hit from here. Not very good. I know this is really, really risky, but I'm thinking this is probably the thing that we have to do at the moment. We really need to kill this guy before the rest of these guys show up. So let's fire everything on him. Roger. 
Damn it. Couldn't get that torso, eh? Now he's gonna move. Oh, crap. Okay, I gotta move the Phoenix Hawk oh, into support. They don't like me at all. No, they don't like you at all. Uh, Behemoth. Um, what's the best chance to hit this guy? 56 on this guy, though. Let's go after Urban Mac. Fire both. There goes the leg and the torso. That hit something good. And he bails out. Okay. So he's gone. Then they're down there, what, six now? So Hickory's got to come back around the corner here. We need to draw these guys in. Being in the water is good and bad. One, we don't have to worry about heat, but we do have to worry about maneuverability. And here comes their main guy, yeah. So he's a light mech as well. Either that or he's got a command console or something. Ah, might be another Oxide. Maybe it's the same guy as the last planet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is he moving? What's he doing? If you want to just stand there, I'm good with that. Oh, he's got Ace Pilot. He's making a break for it. I don't blame you, buddy. That's just fine. Orders. Ugh. Don't like this at all. Let's move up here. We gotta see what these guys are. Blackjack. Almost no armor. Firestarter, almost no armor. Let's fire on this guy. Very low chances to hit, but we're gonna take the shot anyway. Oh, one hit, okay. Is he running away? He's fleeing the interview. Alright, got a chance to fire on this guy. We're gonna take it, we got lots of ammo left. Oh, we hit with the auto cannon. Did not expect that to happen. I'm glad it did though. Okay, here's a flea. Yeah, you need to back up. Damage minimal. I'm here. Okay, you got hit in the torso. Double heat sink and a medium laser in there. Can't afford to lose that. Plus you got the engine. You have an XL engine? You do. It's very bad. So let's move back here. Another flea. Okay, not too worried about these guys. Question is though, these guys have full armor or not? Find out here in a second. Damage is light. Cause so what, the fleas are twenty tons, aren't they? They're twenty. They've got full armor though. Two forty, one sixty. Two smalls, a large, large laser and a flea, really? All right, well. Orders. Let's get rid of them. 79% chance to hit, 74, 50, looks like it's you. Enjoy a couple of missiles. So he's going to go down. I hopefully I can finish him up with the Centurion. And then they'll be down to five. So the rest of the guys are going to move forward. The large laser fire starter. It's kind of good. Phoenix, so the Phoenix Hawks got plenty of uh, chevrons of evasion and lots of armor. It's kind of the perfect mech to be up front. Another flea. Okay. Large laser version. So it's got lower armor, which is good. Is that blackjack going to come back? That's the question. I'm sure he will. So we're going to leave the Phoenix Hawk to go to last. Bet you that is an Oxide.
Okay, here comes the fire starter. Who took an AC hit. 21 damage. Not bad. This Phoenix Hawk looks awesome, by the way. Um, okay, so the question is... Well, I guess we could... If we sprint, we might get be able to... No, we can't get behind him. I was going to say maybe we get behind the fire starter, but not really. So I'm just going to move in front of the... Uh, the uh, Jenner here. I'm going to fire on this guy. going to fire everything going for the CT. Goodbye. Alright, they got five left. Or six left now. How many they got left? They should only have five. I've killed four guys already. Right? Five guys? One, oh yeah, right, because that's their leader there. Okay. Thought my eyes were deceiving me there for a second. Alright, we're going to move over here. Going to get behind this fire starter. Get our stability back. Unload on this guy's backside. Putting up some big numbers. Solid connection on that one. Sure was. We're gonna push him back a turn in a second here too. Another melee guy. Come on, man. Okay, so we're gonna push. Standing by. Can we see the guy? That's the problem. There's no way to move here without uh, jeopardizing my right side. You engage in combat over here. Like if we go here, I'm taking a chance. question is, do I want to take that chance? Let's go with Behemoth first. Can we get behind that guy? No. We can get behind the other guy, though. But we don't want to move ourselves out into a position where we can get severely damaged. So if we move here... Yeah, let's move here. Location Might be able to take this guy's leg off if we get lucky. So let's fire on him. Nope, but he's taking some good damage though. Comes the flea. Pew pew. Okay, they've got six guys left. How is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've killed one, two, three, four. Did one of the lands have five guys in it? Two fire starters, three fleas. I guess so. Aye, aye. I can't think of anything else. We're going to reserve. We're going to let Hickory go last. I guess they must have had an extra mech with the uh, with the leader there. At half skull though, that's that's crazy. Facing ten mechs at half a skull. Okay, here comes the leader now. Find out what it is here in a second. It is an oxide, so we can't engage this guy. Here comes the SRMs. Damn it. We need to kill. This is the guy we gotta get rid of right now. Shouldn't be a problem, I'll just step behind him and blow his backside up. Okay. So I'm gonna use Vigilance. And can we get behind him? We can't, but we can get right here. With good chances to hit, we're gonna do that. Gonna fire on this guy, hopefully get him out of the match.
Well, yeah, pretty much. And he's making a break for it. Nope. Just getting some range, I guess. Okay, so Hickory. Standing by. Let's get you over here. We're gonna be moving you first next turn anyway. And we're gonna fire everything on this guy. Gonna go for a CT hit. Confirmed. Nice. Excellent. Now there's five. Okay, pylon next. Ready for orders. So these guys are all fresh pretty much. Fresh mechs of Bel Air. So let's get around behind these guys. Position confirmed. He's still got lots of armor. Let's get some stability going. 47. Same. So I think we fire into the back side of the flea. And what can we leave off? I guess a medium and a small. We'll fire the three big ones. Putting one in the back. Okay, two good hits. Right arm, left torso. That hit something good. Now that should pretty much cripple him. Okay, so we're gonna move Hickory first. Damage minimal. Let's get her aye, aye. back here. Behind the rocks, get some stability back. And we're gonna fire everything on this guy. Aye, aye. Engaging I know he's already gone, but... Okay, now he's unstable. We should be able to kill him. I wanna move um, Pylon back into the water next turn because he's having problems with heat. And we definitely need to move the Jenner. She's gonna move next. Not much armor left in that location. Yeah, I know. That's the leg too, right? Down to five. Let's do this. 30%, 50%, let's just fire on this guy. Damn it. Okay, what's this flea doing? I couldn't imagine if we didn't kill those these two guys right off the top and get this guy shortly afterwards. If we didn't get these three really fast, we would have been in a lot of trouble. Uh, cold metal, let's get you... Oh, God. Between these mechs and the oxide. Or our Jenner, I mean. And let's do a multi-target. Let's fire on the flea and on this guy. And we're going to fire the medium lasers at that guy. Can we fire on a third target? This guy? Yeah, we'll do that. Oops, I meant to fire the medium lasers on this guy. Well, two hits in the fire starter, we'll take it. Nice. That's a lot of missile hits. Okay, Oxide's backing off. So we're going to need to push that Oxide in a minute. Once we engage, he's going to try and take off. And his escape route is like right here. So we need to be like right on top of him and he's going to leave. Yes, Commander. So let's get you sprinting back here. No shooting, just oh no no, there's going to be lots of shooting. Right on this guy. Please and thank you. Leave the small laser off, fire the rest. Not bad, two hits, okay. Torso gone, no knockdown. Inflicted some heavy damage. You did inflict heavy damage. Comes to blackjack. Okay, we got a chance to go first, so we're gonna move Hickory over here and shoot on this flea again. Now this flea doesn't have anything left really. Flamer and a small laser, but still I'm here. it's guns off the field. So let's get behind that wall there. That. Fire straight on this guy with everything. 
It's a little overkill, but we gotta make sure he dies. There we go. Okay, let's see if these guys up front panic. They're down to four now. Oof. Nice move. Uh, he's a sitting duck now, though. Waiting for orders. Let's move back here. 84% chance to hit. Firing both. Oh, really? Only one? Okay, that flea's bugging out. No, he's not. No, he's not. I'll give him props for having guts. That's what I'll give them. They definitely have guts. Especially piloting 20 ton fleas. Okay, here comes the oxide again. Probably delivering a couple of LRMs. Yep. No, delivering everything. Okay, I hate that we can't engage that guy right away. Be nice to be able to swap the LRM 10 out for a pair of those SRM 4s, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, that's a bad idea. Unless we're sprinting and do this. Full Gonna shoot this guy with everything. All Not unstable yet, eh? Blackjack getting a little braver. Yeah, I gotta bail out of here. This is getting bad. Oh, no! Warning. Damage Left arm full of nothing. Should we do an offensive push on this guy? Just to push him back one turn? Probably. Gonna go for the arm. Got it. Did we get it? We did. Okay, so he should be unstable like now. Our two lights go before him. We might be able to burrow through the side of him. Here comes their flea. Man, you're giving me a nice juicy target to shoot for, that's for sure. Light damage, Commander. Commander. That's our right side. That's the right side leg is damaged though. So let's move um here. Heading out. And we're gonna fire on this guy. There's the knockdown. Okay. He's bugging out again. Good stuff. Okay, shooting on the flea. Don't like that. That guy's got some pretty good targeting, I gotta say. Wonder if he's got a TTS in there. Aye, aye. Let's sprint, please, and thank you get behind this flea. I could shoot this guy. Can I kill this guy if I do? I don't think so. But I could kill this guy. So let's go on the flea. See if we can kill him. We got really good chances Here to hit. Go. A critical hit. He's unstable, so that's good. Okay, here goes the blackjack. Yeah. Damage minimal. Okay, so cold metal with a bit of vigilance here. It's gonna back up to here. I'm gonna turn that's our right side to those guys, and we're gonna fire on this guy. I'm gonna go for CT hit. Hopefully, kill this guy. And of course, missing with the most important thing, the auto cannon. Oh, we got a head hit though. That's good. Long range missiles depleted. Yeah, I know. Standing by. Ah, oh, wish we had multi-target on this guy. Roger that. Flea's already gone. This guy hasn't. Let's go for a torso hit. Maybe we kill this guy. Fire everything. Firing a full salvo. 
Come on, blow the torso off. Nope. Damn it. 13 left. Almost got it, though. Can't complain about that. I just don't think we have enough firepower. You know, prop, props to these guys for having balls enough to keep this fight up. So he's shut down. Uh, Hickory, you're going first. Let's get you back here. Going to shoot on this guy's backside again. We should be able to finish this up. Boom. You're dead. Target destroyed. He's just taking a little bit of a dirt nap. Oh, that's right. He, ah, I forgot that he had was going at the end of the last turn. Right. So we're going to do the same thing here. Firing on this guy. Nope, not quite enough to, un to destabilize them. Comes those LRMs. Okay, so what's this guy got left here? Eleven in the CT. Um, Behemoth, um, do we want to use you on him or not? You can't multi-target. I'd rather keep your left side turned to this guy. What's the chance to hit him? 84? 99. Well, okay. We can't get behind the rock enough to be able to be hidden, eh? Let's just turn this way then. Moving to position. Get some stability back. Fire on this guy. Okay, so that's that done. Blackjack has got no choice but to close with us now. If we can kill this guy fast enough and pull that oxide out here. He's got... Yeah, this guy's from the, that first wave, so he barely has any armor at all. So we're going to move forward like this. We're going to do an offensive push on him. And we're going to try for a leg shot since he's already been hitting the leg. All weapons are go. Okay, two leg hits. He's pushed back a turn, so we all go before him. See what their oxide does. A couple more LRM five, uh, five, five volleys, probably. Just one. Okay. Alright, so. Order. Behemoth first. Let's keep the left side to this guy. Roger that. Gonna fire straight on him. 92% chance to hit. Fire them both. I can't believe we missed with a 92% chance to hit. Inflicted some heavy damage. Okay, Hickory we're gonna reserve. Then we're gonna move Cold Metal first. Gonna move him up. Uh, we need to keep our right side to this guy. And we'll fire everything on him. Nice. Might be able to kill this guy. Should be unstable now. Yep. Okay, so Hickory's next. Let's get her up this way. Want to make sure we target this guy in the side. Gonna burrow through to the internal there. Okay, so he's done. And Pylon, we're just gonna move up here. Because I want to save the heat. Okay, now, this guy's going to have to come out and engage us. Or he's just going to hide back there, I think. We're going to have to go get him. Standing by. Okay, Hickory, move up here. Standing by. Behemoth, sprint, sprint forward. On it. Going to get some cooling going here. Uh, Pylon's just going to wait here. Roger that. Digging in. Sprinting forward. I got the wrong side turned. That was dumb. Okay. Aye, aye. 
Roger. He's just gonna hide back there. Going full speed. He's right near the exit point too. Receiving you. So we need to push this guy back. On it. As soon as we see him, we need to push him back. Turns. Okay. Do we wait one more turn? Oh, he's moving now. Let's get closer. Um, don't want this guy to get away. So let's just get up here with everybody. Acknowledge. Commander. Location confirmed. And then we'll sprint out and attack him next turn. Okay. He's going to move. He's going up there. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's making a break for it. I don't know where he's going, though. I don't even think we're going to be able to... Waiting for the right move. We can't even see him when we move out. Alright, well... Waiting for orders. So... He's not going to be able to see us back here. So we're going to move back... With the Jenner. Since they're basically an LRM boat anyway. Hickory's got to move forward. Get her up behind the Phoenix Hawk. And then Cold Metal's going to just go out here too. But we're going to brace right here. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's coming down to engage. Let's do this. Okay, so it's kind of a good that thing that he com comes out and goes first. Um, yes, Commander. Let's reserve for a second. And we're going to get Receiving. Pylon first. Um, do we? I think we're going to just shoot him from the front. We should just shoot him from the front. Location confirmed. So we're going to push him back. And we're going to go for... Let's go for the kill. We're going to go for a CT hit. Although he's got lots of good stuff. Um, I think it's probably... Well, you know what? Let's try for a 28 for the leg. And how much for the CT? 45. 3 for the head, eh? Let's try for a leg shot. Copy that. Okay, we got one leg shot. Our primary target is taking damage. Thanks, Darius. Without you, I don't know what we would do. Alright, so we're going to push him back again. So now we're all going to go again before him. There's another leg hit. And then Cold Metal is just going to step over here. And let's try for an offensive push on the leg. We might as well. We've got a whole other turn after this. Oh, there's a leg hit. We get it? We did. Right leg, right torso, right arm. And he... He's gone. Well, that was simple. Okay, so we fought 10 guys. In a way, it was good we were in that valley. And they all had to come in from one direction. If they were able to get around and like surround us, like when that firefly jumped behind us, it could have been uh, big trouble. We made 55 grand. We're going to be paying that out in repairs, that's for sure. Um, yeah, lost a hand. No big deal, though. I mean, it's going to cost us to repair that, but uh, Firefly gets five kills. That's just because so much weapon. He took a lot of damage, though, but still, we did pretty well over all against 10 mechs, I think. Alright, so we can pick up three things here. Um, I'm going to go down and see what components we have. We didn't lose any. There's a medium pulse laser, 15 times 3. 
bonus small this like this one here I'm gonna drop that in for now um, only because damage is 10 times four like it'd be nice to have a good like three SRM fours or three SRMs inside the uh, Centurion for close range close range fighting and I hope there's some other stuff down here double heat sink lower arms okay so really there's not a lot here large laser we could take a mech part like the oxide part maybe it's a pretty good mech Although the blackjack part too. Large laser we can't use. Medium pulse. How much is that worth? 360,000. Fusion core, 400,000. I mean, it's not very much money. 13% of that is, you know what, uh, 52,000. Although maybe we should take it and sell it. 52 grand is not bad. Uh, anything else though? Large laser is not really worth that much. Mech parts are only going to be worth, you know, not that much. Not 52 grand, that's for sure. And I think this is kind of early in the game to worry about other stuff, but right now let's just take this for cash. Confirm. So we got a fire starter part, flea part, jenner part, one, two, three urban mech parts, wasp part, nice. Medium small laser and jump jet. Okay, so we have enough to make our next financial report. All right, Magister Canopus took Elmer from the Hegemony. Ah, not bad. 88,000 in repairs. Brr, no. So we're going to need to buy a hand eventually. What kind of, uh, oh, we're, we're past the financial report and repairs here. Why is the Phoenix Hawk 12 days past the financial report here? Interesting. Probably because it's working on them. So both these go five. We do this, and this should be ten days. Seven days. Five. Yeah, ten days. That's a little better, I think. And this is in 23. But if we go back the way we were, this is in 25. So let's do that. Okay, that's better. All right, so let's go to our store real quick before we leave for today. And we're going to sell. So I'll just see what's here, though. Jenner 2C parts. Well, you can see what I mean, though. Mackie parts, like 100 tons. Like, they're super cheap, too, right? LRM5 EMP. One impaired accuracy for two turns. Damage two times five. Interesting. Machine gun heavy array. These things are nice. If you can get in close with these guys, they can do a lot of damage. Uh, endo steel. Like, like, oh man. Hands. We might as well buy a hand because we lost our hand. New equipment available. Indirect plus one. Upper recoil. Compensator. Minus two recoil with ranged weapons. 167,000. Anyway, let's go to sell. Got to sell a few things here. Let's sell, well, let's hang on to the large lasers for now. Uh, fusion core we were going to sell. There's 52,000. Um, jump jet we can sell. What else do we need here? We're still short. Uh, we can't jump from the planet either because we got to save 25 grand. Anything that's worth the double heat sink, we got to keep for sure. Medium lasers, LRM 10s. Let's sell a large laser, just one. Let's sell the one LRM 10. How close are we here? Oh, okay, we made it. Cool. I don't think there's anything else we want to ditch. We want to hang on to the ammo. Because you never know when you're going to need it. Although, hot loaded LRM ammo we're not going to use. So let's sell that. Have a little extra cash, not much. Um, yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do here. And eventually we're going to have to refit our mechs. But that's going to come next time. We're going to have to go for some cash, I think. 
Unfortunately, we had to face 10 mechs that time, which kind of sucks. Actually, you know what? Let's go to, um... Let's go to mech base here for real quick. And we can sell some of the parts that we don't really want. Like, we're, not, we're never going to use a wasp, so let's get rid of that. We're never going to use the flea, so let's get rid of that. And the urban mech, we got three parts, so we're going to hang on to that. Javelin is actually not a bad platform. Javelin? That's six bullet. That can't have six ballistic. Ballistic? Six ballistic and one laser? Really? RX-60X. We definitely want to keep this guy. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that as this for now. So, we're doing okay for cash. We're alright. So, yeah, we're going to end the episode here. If you liked the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I'm, I am going to be posting pretty much every day with this for the next little while. Um, we'll see what happens when Flashpoint comes out. And things may change, but we'll see. And until next time, I'll see you all later.